<laughs> Spooky didn't do it. Got a nice clean head, Sammy. <laughs> and it was you that did it. You know that you peed on him today? When we were stopped at that rest stop? <laughs> it hey everyone, this is Stuart. Missy. And we're in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Say hi, Missy. Hi. She's really happy to be here, can you tell? Actually, she's had a pretty rough couple of days. We'll tell you more about that later, but Stand outside a Dirty Don's Oyster Bar. Uh, good recommendation for our friend Glenn, who runs A to Z Adventures on YouTube. We'll link to his channel in the description below. But Glenn said, you gotta come here. So we're here, Glenn. Let's go check it out. doing with your hair these days. Thank you. As you're eating a big chicken wing. Look at that. You get yummy chicken wing? I know it's not an Oscar chicken like wing. Hmm? I don't like these ones. I don't you like, like the you like the wing wing. Yeah. You don't like the drumstick part of no. it. They're all my thing? Yeah. Weird. Alright so Missy and I had the travel day from hell today. We'll get into it more later but uh, first things first. This is called Travel day from hell, pain reliever. When you have a travel day from hell, we had two travel days from hell. After two travel days from hell, you need to just drink your sorrows away. So I'm having a double IPA here at Dirty Don's in Myrtle Beach. And I want to forget about our two driving days from hell. I'll get, like I said, I'll share more about that uh, near the end of the video. So stick around to the end and I'll share with, with you. You know what? I'm not even going to do that. I'm not even going to have you wait around to the end. I'm just going to tell you shortly. All right, so we didn't film very much at dinner because uh, we were just too hungry. And after the whole crazy couple of days of driving, we decided it was just time to eat. So we're, uh, where are we heading now, Missy? Aldi. Aldi. We're going to Aldi. We haven't been to Aldi in a long time. We get to be green granola people again. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, scurry. We're at Aldi. <laughs> I was just coughing into the phone here. So after two months of Hilton Head with no Aldi, we're finally at Aldi. So we're gonna go and uh, get some Aldi stuff. We haven't been at Aldi in like two months, so Missy's happy. Look how happy Missy is. Missy, are you happy? She's not, she's not turning around, that's how happy she is. There is a rule. I just made it. Whatever. Do it. Hurry up. Hi, everyone. Say hi, Missy. Hi. She's grumpy. Missy is grumpy. Why are you so grumpy? Why are you so grumpy? Can we go eat. She's hungry. Hi, everyone. Missy's hungry. We're going to go eat. We're uh, at Preston Seafood Country Buffet if you really care. Because obviously she don't because she's grumpy. But we're going to have some seafood buffet. That's always good. And it's Thursday. It's the end of the work week for us. So she should be happy. She doesn't have to, she doesn't have to deal with springboard anymore. All right. Seafood buffet, everyone. We're going to getting some soup. All right. So it's $45 a person. I would have uh, went to Oscars instead. But... Uh, you got all you can eat crab legs, which is, I can deal with that. 
that's worth, I'm gonna eat, we're gonna eat 90 dollars worth of crab legs. I can guarantee you that, for sure. All right, folks, we're uh, done at Preston's, and uh, it was good. I'll give it that, Missy, it was good. For a buffet, it was good. Everything on the buffet that I took was good. It was good, but it was $118 for the time. Yeah. <coughs> and that's because of the crab. It was still high. It was all you can eat crab, so I ate a lot of crab. So yeah, we got I, our fill. I made up for that. I ate, my, I ate it in fried chicken. Yeah. I ate $118 worth of fried chicken. Well, I don't... Anyway, that was our uh, seafood buffet experience at Myrtle Beach, aka the Redneck Riviera. And uh, we're going to go in. Uh, yeah, we should have went to Oscars. Oh, well, hey, yeah. got to try things. All right, we're going to go and uh, do some other things here at Myrtle Beach. Everyone, happy Friday! Friday, Friday is now. Friday is the new fun day. Yeah. So we're at uh, Broadway at the beach here in Myrtle Beach. Yep. And we're gonna go walk around and uh, check things out and see what uh, it's hot already. You see? It is. That's my general theme for the summer. It's hot. It is hot. 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 Okay, we're at Broadway on the beach, and we're gonna. You know, number of years since we've been here last. So we're gonna go yeah. see what's new. Blake Schwank, you'll be uh, happy to know I got my favorite t-shirt on today. Uh, if you're watching our channel, make sure uh, you comment and let me know about what you think of my uh, my shirt. You you seem to uh, you seem to like this shirt. Doesn't he, Missy? Yeah, he does. He likes this shirt. He loves, it. loves this shirt. Okay, we're about to head into the official Donald Trump Superstore here in Myrtle Beach. Plugs, uh, clicks, clike, kites, clikes, kites, I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, they're gonna be the official Donald Trump Superstore, so we're gonna go check it out. So what do you think of the official Trump Superstore? Yeah, a lot of uh, Trump a lot, a lot of Trumpers. Uh, the guy obviously likes Trump. Oh uh, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Places closed down here, like a lot of restaurants and uh, stops, shops that are just uh, closed down in the middle of the summer. So it makes me wonder, what how many people are even coming here now? Uh, to Myrtle Beach, period, or to a place like this for uh, fun and excitement? Makes one wonder. Yeah, there's a there's a restaurant there that's closed down, and a more over here that are just closed right down. So uh, a couple 
couple big ones too. they have here in Myrtle Beach, Apollo Deans. We haven't been to one of those since we were in Nashville. So uh, Missy's gonna go check the menu and see if it's the same uh, style as with the one in Nashville was, which was super, super yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So it is the same menu as the one in Nashville. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be coming here one night uh, in the next little while for sure. Grabbing a seat here, waiting for the fish food guy to fill up the machine. Where are going? And then Mr. Bear will feed the fish. Yeah. Like we did with uh, Sarah years ago. Yeah. When we were... time it was seagulls. Well, no, fish were there too, though. Yeah, but we ended up feeding more seagulls than we did that, fish. That's true. That's true. What do you got there? Fish All right, let's go feed the fishies. <laughs> yeah, look at them. They're kind of hungry, aren't they? Oh my god, yeah. All right, did you feed them all? Well, I fed whichever ones were lucky enough to get some. <laughs> Uh, Broadway at the beach here and it is uh it's a scorcher today Missy it is. I don't know about you but I'm sweating to death I need to get a drink pretty soon yeah. so we're gonna go on the hunt for uh, a drink I think we're gonna go back to that cigar place and uh, sit in the AC for a little while eh so we're gonna walk around here and uh, go back to that cigar place and uh, have a drink and a cigar and uh, and uh, just relax for a bit went to uh, the social coffee shop at Broadway and the beach. Two bottles of water like this, $9. And then the credit card machine asked you for a tip. Uh, you want a tip and you all you did was hit a button on a cash register. No, thank you. Okay, we're at the Tinder box. We're going for cigars now. Okay, we just finished at the Tinder box. The nice little cigar place here at uh, Board, where we at Broadway? 
Broadway. Broadway. Broadway on the beach. Yeah. Anyway, good little cigar place here. Good, uh, good chat with some of the guys here. All right, we're gonna head back to the RV and check on the doggy before we uh, head to North Carolina for dinner tonight. It's one of our favorite places in North Carolina. Hey everyone, welcome to North Carolina. We're outside the uh, Boundary House, which is a staple place that we come and visit when we come here in beautiful Calabash, North Carolina. And uh, doesn't Missy look pretty today? Missy's all dolled up for dinner. And now I put a collar shirt on for the second time Missy in like a month. <laughs> Kind of weird. I never wore a collar shirt for like a year. Now I wear it twice in one month. Anyway, we're here at the Boundary House. We're going to go in. This is a place you have to come to if, you, uh, if you're in the Myrtle Beach area. It's the uh, bun. Really tasty. If I remember, sorry. Really tasty buns here. All right, let's go in and eat. Okay, so here's a pro tip. Make sure you call, make sure you book a reservation uh, through the website or call in because it's only not even five o'clock yet and there's already a lineup and the parking lot is packed and I'm happy that Missy and I made a reservation before we got here because at least we have a spot in line. And uh, yeah, pro tip, make a reservation. We got our table right on time. I think right at five o'clock we had a reservation, right? So I'm starting with the True Light Lager. It's a 4.2 alcohol uh, by volume beer out of Wilmington, North Carolina. So it's a local one. It tastes like a light beer. It's good. It's a light beer. You can taste it. It's, 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 it's a light beer. It's like a milk of all ultra ish. But it's good. All right. I'm starting with my water. Missy's got our water. water. And, but you're at the Boundary House, Missy. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have the uh, we have the yummy skirt croissants coming. I know. So tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm going back on a somewhat of a diet. I know I said that numerous times, but yeah, I'm starting to. What is that? My clothes are not fitting properly. Uh, I gotta lose a few pounds. And plus, when I go back to see Sally. When we're back in Sebring, she's gonna give me the finger wag. Oh. All right, we're waiting for our uh, yummy food to come. And like I said, when you come to Calabash or Middle Beach, you gotta eat. What's I show you? You gotta eat here. Uh, you gotta make a reservation. You gotta. I did. I already gave him the pro tip about making uh, a reservation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How are the croissants? Very good. They are the they are the cats BL, aren't they? Meow. Look at these babies. Honey honey drip croissants. Are they warm? Mm -hmm. oh. And some scallops. And some gumbo. Alright, uh, beer number two. I gotta look at the menu. Oh my god. Those uh croissants are really good. So this uh, beer number two is the uh, Hummingbird from Red Oak Brewery uh, in uh, Wind. I'm going to see if I get this right. Wisett, W-H-I-T-S-E-T-T, -T -T, North Carolina. So here it goes. Yeah, you can tell this one's a little stronger than the last one. A little bit more bite to it, but it's only a, a 4.5 uh alcohol by volume beer so it's still a little bit on the lighter side but uh, still still tasty all right so that's our hurricane chicken yeah is it just like you remember just as good so it comes with what a crab cake a crab cake shrimp chicken and yeah. and i have the uh surfer turf with vegetables filet mignon and um uh, filet and shrimp and hush puppies. Look at that hush puppies. 
All right, beer number three on our uh, list of beers tonight is the uh, Western Mutant. It's uh, American IPA out of Wilmington, North Carolina by Edward Teach Bright. So here we go. Yeah, that one definitely has more kick to it than the other two I had today. So good thing that that's a good one to round up tonight. So that's, that's it. No more after that. But I eat my uh, dinner now. And it's really good. All right, Missy, what do you think of our dinner at the Boundary House? Yeah, I was disappointed. Yeah. Very disappointed. I, when I came here in the past, it was really, really good. Well, the croissants were good, and the scallops were good. Yeah, but the service really sucked. Mm. The service was lousy. It did. Sorry, folks, for hyping this all up before, but holy, it, what, I'm just going off past experiences. It was good, but today it was this. It was lousy. I had better service at McDonald's. Seriously. And that's not saying much. The guy we had just seemed to be going through the motions. Yeah, he was not That's not, there. just not there. All right, well. I had those three times for my butter and sour cream. Yeah, so I don't think we'll be going back there anytime soon. They probably have a wanted picture for us up on the wall. <laughs> no, just kidding. Anyway, we're going to go check out some other things here in California. Pretty interesting, cool things here. So that's like kind of like the beach store. All kinds of stuff you can get here. Oh yeah, we haven't been here since uh, well, since we came to Myrtle Beach and Sunset Beach years and years and years ago. So before we head back to Myrtle Beach, we're going to uh, walk around the, uh, just have a look at the uh, waterfront here in Calabash. All kinds of shrimp boats and uh, all kinds of cool uh, fishing vessels. Missy's like off in the distance here. She's standing back. Come on and get closer to your people. Say hi, Missy. Hi, Missy. Anyway, she's, uh, she's being weird right now. Okay, we're out here at the waterfront in Calabash, and we're gonna go and uh, just take some pictures of some boats. You like sure boats? You get the jaws there. Do you like boats? Yeah, boats are fine. I like boats too. We uh, should buy. We should buy a. Oh, in the navy. Yeah, let's let's go <laughs> buy a boat. No, she doesn't want to comment on that. No, I don't want a boat. Okay, we're gonna RV go. RV is bad enough. A boat breaks down even more. That's right.
years since we've been down to the uh, waterfront here in Calabash. And, and also, it was the winter when we were here last. So a lot of different things are going on. They got uh, new restaurants. Um, so we might have to come back here and check out some of the new restaurants after a little bit of a disappointment at the Boundary House tonight. I, uh, sorry about the hype there, folks. But uh, it, yeah, it didn't turn out to be all that great. Uh, things have changed, I guess, uh, since, you know, over the years. So uh, it was, there were some good things about the the, um, the croissants were good and the beer was good. My steak, I asked for medium rare. I got meat, I got rare. Uh, Missy had to ask five or six times for sour cream. By the time she got sour cream for baked potato, it was cold. So just lack of attention to detail for service. So I imagine that's an alarming trend that's happening in the food services industry. Um, that service is going downhill. Oh well. There's all kinds of other restaurants in Myrtle Beach to try out. Saturday morning, everyone. Missy and I are at uh, Johnny D's now in Myrtle Beach. It looks good. And you got to look at this venue, it's fantastic. And we're at the bar. They got Kahlua for breakfast. Banana spit waffles. Check out, check out this menu. So you got some eggs benedict there? Yes, I did. Okay, let's go and see. Ooh, take a big bite. Ooh. Was it good? Mm -hmm. the hash brown. I got the uh, brisket, Betty. With some grits. Looks yummy. Oh, okay, I'm full now, Missy. Yes. It seems to be a common thread around Myrtle Beach that I'm full. Oh. Anyway, that was, we had uh, breakfast at Johnny D's and it was really, really good. It was so, fast. Fast. We got a seat at the bar there. We saw some pictures of it, and uh, we were in and out in a heartbeat. And it, and it got a full belly, so life is good. All right, what to ne what to next? Uh, I gotta go to the hardware store. Okay. All right, so we're back at the coach. It's Saturday afternoon, and it's work day around here. We're gonna I'm gonna show you a few things, little modifications I'm making to help with the ACs. And uh, didn't cost very much to make these modifications, and it should, according to the guys on the Facebook group at Integra make the coach a lot cooler and help with things. So let me show you what we're doing. We're gonna come back to this little modification real soon, but we're gonna take the thermostat or thermotator, whatever they call these things and move it away from the wall. The other, the other project we're working on is modifying the air ducts at the front. There, we found that there was at least two feet after the first uh, or the first row of uh, cool air ducts here in this coach that were just being wasted. The air was going down to nowhere. So we blocked that off and I'll show you what we used to block it off. And um, we're gonna do that on the other side here next. And then we're gonna turn the ACs on and see if that makes a big difference. So so all we did, we went to Michael's and got some of this uh, craft board here. Uh, and, and it's this size here, I think, uh, I'll tell you exactly, I don't have the packaging anymore, but you can have an eyeball here, it's about an inch. Seems to be about the right size. Handy dandy duct tape, cut, uh, cut it out not uh not too pretty but it's a little crooked but it works anyways because you're taping up some of the gaps and uh you put that after or before the front air vents and uh, blocks the air from going down to that two feet of unused space all right so we got the uh thermostat thermitator or whatever the temperature sensor gizmo here uh a good inch and a bit out of the wall so that should work perfectly to keep the front of the coach regulated and the air coming out of this vent here is uh, blowing pretty hard. Let's see if I can find something maybe to show you. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see that on there, but that uh, piece of plastic is blowing pretty hard, and that's on the high setting. So it's uh, 
it's going pretty hard with that vent, so it wasn't like that prior. Let's go to the other one. I'll just show you by way of comparison what it did look like. All right, so I'm in the back of the coach now. I'm gonna put the uh, little pla piece of plastic here up against the bathroom uh, vent, and you can see here this thing's not even moving, and this is on high. It's moving a little bit, but not not as much as that front one is. So there's a quick fix for you if you have a uh, Integra that uh, in hot weather the front uh, has a hard time uh, staying close to regular temperature. Move that thermostat temperature sensor away from the wall and uh, block off that excess pipe or duct work, and that should uh, help keep the coach a little cooler. <laughs> All we seem to do is eat. We're at a German uh, gas, gas house in uh, uh, If they can't tell. Yeah, if you can't tell with the music in the background. <laughs> what do you think of that, Spitzy? I'm. Um, it's gonna be good. She's excited. Go up there and do my Elvis. No, go do your uh, heaven and hell. <laughs> no, no. 4.6 stars. Look at this beer. <laughs> I know it's huge. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. There you go. The same thing? <laughs> yeah, you have the all you can eat pork chops look good. Now what's that? Wiener sitchin, potato salad, and uh, spatula. That looks yummy. So yummy. Look at that. All you can eat pork chops. Oh yeah. Okay, enough recording. I gotta eat because it looks so good. So how was your dinner? How was your dinner? Very good. Yeah? Would you yeah. highly recommend this place? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely, yes. yeah. definitely, she says. Okay, we're done dinner at the uh, Horst gas house, gas house. I can't say it now. It's been so long since I've been in Germany. 30 years at least. This, this, here's the name of the place right here. Right there. Here in Myrtle Beach. Where is it? Right oh. there. Horst The name's right there. I think they say Gasthaus. Gasthaus. And all, all our German friends that are out there, can you uh, leave a comment below and let us know how the, how you properly pronounce that? Because us English people, we're bastardizing it. All I know is the Wiener Schnitzel and the Spatula. Oh, watch this awesome. car. Oh. It was awesome. I I highly recommend this place, Missy. After that, after that horrible experience yesterday, what a what a delight. And it was half the price. And it was half the price. And we had... You had, and well, you had beers. And I had a dessert. boot. I had a boot of beer. You see, did you see that in the other video? I'll put it right here again. The and boot. And all you can eat pork chops. And all you can eat pork chops. Like you can't go wrong. So we're here for another couple of months. I could see ourselves coming here five or six more times. That's how good it was. And I'll make sure we put a good Google review on here because it was fantastic. And you get music. And you get music. I'm tempted one time going up there and singing Wooden Heart. Oh, there you go. Because uh, the Elvis did that song. Hey, what does that have to do with German? Elvis sang Wooden Heart because of its time he did in Germany in the, oh, in the army. Oh, okay. All right. Missy's going to smoke and I'm going to get ready to go back and see the doggies. But that was, that was fantastic. She reminds me of this, uh, this uh, karaoke I said I was going to do, which I'm not going to do. Okay, we're heading back to the RV to see the puppies. And we may check in later. Well, happy Sunday, everyone. Hey. Look at Missy and I are kind of dressed up again. We're going to, uh, I would say now, one of our favorite places in all yeah. of Myrtle Beach. We used to come here um, when uh, we used to come down here for the winter. And we used to make Sundays, we would come and sit on the intercoastal waterway. Now, this was in January, February, March when it was a little nicer and not scorching hot. <laughs> but we sit on the uh, patio or in the intercoastal waterway and uh, watch all the boats go by at... Uh, Greg Norman's Australian Grill here in Myrtle Beach. 
We also came for Valentine's. We also came for Valentine's. Remember, they, they did screw up my steak that one night. Yeah, they did. But uh, that <laughs> happened from time to time. Anyway, we're going to go and have some brunch on this Sunday. You think we're eating a lot on this video, which which we are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going back to visiting <laughs> all of weekend, our... it's weekend, that's why. We're going back to visit all of our favorite restaurants and stuff in Myrtle Beach. Maybe we'll call this video Favorite Restaurants in Myrtle Beach. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go eat. Okay, Missy, I've been dying <laughs> for this shrimp cocktail for years, since the last time we were here, yeah. which was what, seven, six or seven years ago? Yeah. Gotta be at least that long ago. Look at that, look how big those shrimp. So, where did we go the other night that they had, they had big shrimp on the menu? That was the Boundary House. Yeah. No, sorry, Boundary House. These are big shrimp. <laughs> yeah. So tell us what you got there. I got the um, good day mate. The good day tomatoes. mate. So it's got it's got fried green tomatoes. Yeah, crab cake. Crab cake. Poached eggs. Poached eggs. Old Bay. Old Bay. Oh, Old Bay is great. I don't know where the hollandaise is, but it must be hiding somewhere. Then I got the um, the golfer's poutine, right? Yes. That's what I got. So let's dig in. So lunch is done at uh, Greg Dorman's, Missy. Yeah. I am. Uh, I'm done eating out for the week now. Yeah. I'm going to eat at home for the rest of the week. But how was brunch at Greg Dorman's? Uh, I'd give it eight and a half out of ten. Eight and a half out of ten. I would give it an eight and a half out of ten as well. Mm -hmm. I, I remember last time we came, they didn't have that brunch menu. No. They had the regular lunch menu, which I would prefer to have. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Hey, it's still pretty good. Definitely better than uh, some of the other places we've been on this uh, epic journey of a lifetime. Yeah, no, it was it was good. Yeah, really, really good. Okay, we're gonna go and uh, take some other running around, and we'll check in later. Hey everyone, we're back at the uh, at the rig. I've uh, been kind of just uh, working on some videos this afternoon. Uh, now it's time for went to the wet. She went to the pool and uh, went into the warm tub. I won't call it a hot tub. Went to the warm tub. Uh, it wasn't 104 as advertised, but uh, still good. And then I went and sat around the pool for a bit. Missy's inside with the Chihuahuas, and Archie's out here with me somewhere. We're having a cold one on a hot day. All the uh, weekend warriors that were across the street have uh, pulled out and left. So uh, just uh, regular folk, monthly folks here now uh, in our loop here at the North Myrtle Beach RV Park and Marina. And Dry Dock, I think it's called. Anyway, um, yeah, we're having a great uh, Sunday afternoon. It's hot still. But, uh, hey, I'm pretty happy I got that air conditioner stuff figured out in the coach because it's, uh, the AC is, has never worked, knock on wood, as good as it has right now. So, uh, so far, so good. Well, 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 look at the chihuahuas today. All cuddled up into each other. And, you know, in five minutes from now, they'll be fighting with each other. This is the way it goes. But look at them right now. Isn't that Chihuahua love something special?